uh, taking time out to be here with us today. A very uh, exciting <laughs> announcement that affects uh, our Golden Eagle athletic program and uh, our Golden Eagle football program. So again, thanks for being here. Uh, we'll leave some time when we're done. Uh, you can uh, do some one-on-ones with some of the principals that are here, but uh, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll start off right now by bringing up a director of athletics, Bill McGillis, for a very special announcement. Bill. Thank you, Bill. And it won't be a lengthy announcement, um, but I did want to share some fantastic news with you, and then we'll open it up to, to some Q&As. Uh, today is another game-changing day for our athletics program and for our student-athletes. It's a game-changer, game-changing moment, game-changing day. And uh, we are announcing today that we will be building three new facilities, athletic facilities, that will benefit all of our student-athletes in some form or fashion. Um, We've, we've been blessed over the last 14 years to, to build some tremendous facilities, um, to expand facilities, to renovate facilities, um, and, and, and we've, got a, we've got a physical plan in athletics uh, that, that is outstanding. But we did have some important needs, uh, and today we have a chance to, to address those things. Number one, um, we will be building a new football team locker room, state-of-the-art, as nice as any in America. Uh, it's being made possible through the generosity of James and Tommy Duff. Duff, a gift from them that will enable us to do this project between January and early this summer. As soon as our football team heads to Dallas for the Heart of Dallas Bowl, we will begin by demoing the locker room, starting over, uh, and it's, it's going to be a fantastic space for our football team. Secondly, we will be uh, expanding our strength and conditioning center um, and totally renovating that space for the benefit of all 360 student athletes. Again, when it's done, it's going to be state of the art. New floor, uh, new equipment, new graphics, uh, new offices, uh, tremendous uh, space for, for Zach Woodfin, uh, his staff, our coaches, and our student athletes. And finally, uh, very excited to announce that we will be developing a nutrition center for all of our student athletes uh, inside the Duff Athletic Center within uh, the M Club room uh, in that building. And uh, they're, they're, and you'll get a chance to talk to Zach, but there may be nothing more important uh, for student-athlete welfare uh, than the fuel we put in, in, in the bodies of our young women and men here in our program. And uh, this is a really, really special opportunity for us, uh, again, made possible um, by a variety of, of people. Uh, in the case of the uh, weight room expansion and the nutrition center, uh, facility, uh, a gift provided by uh, Dolly and Wade Walters will make those facilities a reality. So um, I, I'm excited for these three guys. I'm excited for their teammates. I'm excited for the men and women who participate in all of our sports because they're all going to benefit uh, by that weight room expansion and by the nutrition center. And I want to express my appreciation to the Duff families and the Walter families for their incredible generosity. Uh, what the Duffs have done for our university and our program uh, through the naming of the Athletic Center in 2012, uh, in a lot of other ways, and then by providing the funding for these critical improvements, um, truly has positioned us for long-term success. That may or may not have been possible without it. Uh, but these facilities are going to make a, a, an immense difference for our student athletes and our teams. Uh, and I think, I think that the Duff family recognizes the value uh, uh, of the education provided to the young women and young men in our program and the opportunity these facilities provide us for future success. Uh, and the same goes for the Walters family and, uh, and, and what they are uh, doing to make these two facilities get their funding a reality. So, 
Uh, with that, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, about these uh, facilities. And we've got our, some student athletes here. We've got Zach Woodfin, who's happy to visit with you later, and <coughs> Coach Monken as well. Uh, how long did you say each one of these projects uh, will take? We're gonna, the first project up will be the uh, Strength and Conditioning Center expansion. Um, that literally will begin next Monday. Uh, as soon as we vacate that space when our team goes to Dallas, students are out for the break, uh, and we intend to get that project done uh, over the period of like the next six weeks. We're ready to go. Uh, met with our contractor this morning. And, uh, and so we're going to try to get that done before our student athletes are back for the spring semester. The football team locker room will start um, uh, about the same time, uh, if not just before the holiday, and we'll start right after the holiday. Uh, and so we'll relocate the football team this spring during spring ball. They'll work out of the south end zone out of our visitors locker room during that period of time. That project is going to take about six months. Uh, you know, somewhere in that five to seven month window, but it'll be done before our football team is here in the summer. Certainly no later than uh, August when they report for, uh, for two days. And that project's going to involve um, 115 new lockers for our football team. Um, big time. Big time. This locker room will be as nice as any in the SEC, as nice as any in the Pac-12, as nice as any in America. Uh, it's going to have bells and whistles. Aesthetically, it's going to be great. Functionally, it's going to be outstanding. Um, it's going to have some uh, of its own nutrition elements within the locker room. Uh, it's going to have some teaching uh, elements within the locker room. Uh, we're opening up the space between the locker room and the team meeting room with the new entry, so you'll be able to go straight in there. It's going to be spectacular. And then the uh, uh, M Club Nutrition Center will be the third project. Uh, that'll follow right after the locker room project. But we expect to have that done before next fall as well. The nutrition Center, does that mean they'll eat there or learn about nutrition or what? Yes. <laughs> and yes, uh, it'll be a combination of those things. Uh, we'll have a fueling station in there where our student athletes can um, pick up fruits, snacks, drinks. Um, supplements and those kinds of things year-round throughout the day. We'll have some uh, scheduled and structured meals in there. Um, and then our uh, nutrition staff will also provide nutrition education in that space. So there's a full kitchen in there, a um, lot of opportunities. It's going to be tremendous. And it will, it will have uh, multi-purpose benefits as well. Uh, and I want to express my appreciation to the M Club Board of Directors itself. Um, because uh, they've worked with us, um, and, and that space will remain the home <coughs> of our M Club while also uh, serving as a nutrition center for our student athletes. Mr. Thank McGillis, you. can you um, just basically talk about the importance of continuously improving facilities versus what everybody else is doing? Yeah, thank you. Um, and let me just start with this. When you, when you look at the combination, and I'm going to speak to football first. When you look at the combination of the Rock, um, the Bauer Academic Center, which will come, and we're, we're closing uh, in on our fundraising goal there, you know, which is going to be a $2 million project. These projects are about $1.6 million combined. But when you look at the Academic Center we're building, when you look at the state-of-the-art football team locker room that we're about to have. When you look at this nutrition center, which is rare, um, and, and you look at uh, the expansion of, of the strength and conditioning center, the package of facilities that we will have in football is second to none. There may be bigger places, but the quality, the functionality, and the aesthetics of what we're about to have, we won't have to take a backseat to anybody that we compete against. And you know we had a big recruiting weekend this weekend. Uh, Todd and his staff will have big recruiting weekends in, in January and February. And uh, it's critical that we continue to invest in our football program, to sustain a championship program. We've been winning for 100 years around here. We intend to 
to win for the next 100 years. And to have, have, to have a championship program, you've got to have great facilities. We've had that. We want to sustain those. We want to build upon them. We want to be cutting edge. We want to be ahead of our competition, not even. We want to be ahead of our competition. Uh, and we will be. And uh, our goals in football are to be bowl eligible, to be conference champions again, to win bowl games, and to play on New Year's Day. And uh, play and compete at the highest level. And we can do that. And these facilities will help us do that. Um, but I'm, I'm equally excited about the benefits department-wide, like with the Bauer Academic Center. The Nutrition Center is a game changer. And you know, some of it's about recruiting when, when you build facilities, but it's more about serving the student athletes that you have in your program, to providing them the greatest opportunity for success, to maximize their potential in the classroom, maximize their potential on the playing, the playing field. And that facility is going to help us do that. Uh, and, and the strength and conditioning center is going to help us do that. And uh, more space, better space, better equipment, um, better education, it all fits together. And, uh, uh, and, and I'm, I'm really proud. I'm enormously grateful um, for the Duffs um, and the Walters for making uh, these facilities possible. You can only get these things done in this day and age through private funding. We've had some very generous supporters at Southern Miss for a long, long time. Uh, too many to name, uh, but our circle of champions uh, and others who have invested in the Athletics Foundation. Uh, and these families have just continued that uh, with these gifts. You said the Walters. What, what were the names there? Wade and? Dolly and Wade. John and Wade, and Jack will have some more of that information for you. Any other questions, gentlemen? Ladies? Okay, three.